Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV. We're doing another episode of the 31 Days of Horror on the channel, and we're here with a new game called The Moons of Madness. It's another horror game. Uh, it's like an HP Lovecraft-esque space horror game. So it's kind of like the previous one on Call of Cthulhu that we just finished, but I've never played this either, so let's see what it is. New game. Get out of bed. Get up, spaceman. Wake up call. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's look around the house. A little, little uh, room we got here. Monday, five oh nine. Happy birthday to me. To do. Run off sprinkler, oxygenator, diagnostics, and tune bio gauge. Chess wins me for a Declan. Two. Demios. That's a moon. There's a home. Bobos. Yay. There's the old computer. That's a sweet screen. What's that? Um, <laughs> that's about as quick as a diploma goes away right there. Okay, I guess I don't got one. I guess it's just throwing me right into it. Oh, one second, guys. I'm going to update the gamma. It's really dark. To make sure you guys can see what's going on. All right, that seems better. Okay, let's see what's going on Hello? here. Hello? Anyone there? Looks like my name's Shane. What the hell happened here? Toronto arrival in zero days. Solar plant or solar panel cleanup, satellite maintenance, reigning chess champion, Josie. Ooh, what's that? Is that a flashlight? Yeah, there we go. Get some light in here. Light triggers to zoom in. How do you run? No running? Yeah, I don't I think there's a run button. Ouch. Okay. What do we got? Is this open? I've seen that circle image twice now. Ew. Ugh. What is that? I agree, Shane. What is that? Nasty. Open. Oh god. This ain't good. Fish people are everywhere. Yeah, it's a moving. Probably not go that way. Oh Jesus. It's already getting scary. I ain't ready for this. Let's sign up for these jump scares. Broken. We got some plants in here. Those tomatoes. Oh. And it just threw me right into all this. Ooh. A weapon? Add to inventory. Yes. Can I use it? Inventory. Okay. 
Oh, it looks like I can't open an inventory. Anything out there? Okay, we got backtrack. Got ourselves a crowbar. Maybe, uh, oh, let's go back to that door that was broken back here. We have a crowbar now, maybe we can, uh, pry it open. Make me walk all super slow. Yeah, there we go. Crowbar time. What's going on in there? Something moving over here and it just took off while I was in the middle of that. The double circle. What candle? Oh god. My flashlight don't work. The cake is a lie, people. Remember the cake. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What was that? What a dream. <laughs> Rise and shine, folks. Is everybody okay? For real. I almost spilled my coffee. Oh my gosh, uh, I'll, I'll have to check the readings, but that may have been our biggest quake yet. Standard procedure. Newhart, you know what to do. If there's any critical damage to the base, let me know. Yeah, okay, uh, no problem. Dr. Van Buren, you will assist me at the landing site for the Cyrano. Declan, you're on comms. Find any system issues, relay them to Shane. Aye, aye, Captain. Switch to a private frequency, Declan. No chatter on open channels. Over and out. Private channel time. Uh, why is every one of these Cthulhu games got some kind of dream thing going on? Something I don't know. It's all about the nightmares. That's a nice boulder. That is a nice boulder. Didn't even put it in there right. Hanging off the edge. Or reading. Awesome. Hey, to read. Dear Dad, I have a confession I want to tell you. Crossed out. Hey there. Crossed out. I've already rewritten this letter six times. I'll probably rewrite it several more. I have a lot of time before I can actually send it to you. Uh, you deserve to. Cross out. I put it plain. I'm not in Antarctica. That expedition does not exist. Or it, if it does, I'm not on it. I went a little further. I went to Mars. You're telling me this person... Wait, this is like the the guy's son, and he told him he went to Antarctica, but he's on Mars? A big difference. I hope you can uh, forgive me. The deception is not a slight. The company takes their secrecy very seriously. In fact, you will already probably have seen me again in person before I'm allowed to send you this. Uh, I want you to hear it from me. I want you to know I love you, what I really want to tell you. That's that's kind of a big difference, man. There's nothing put in here, right? The Orchi group. Move the right stick. And look around at interaction points. And, okay, so let's read it. The Orchi, Orochi group. Dane Newhart. That's me, Chief Engineer, Security Level 1. Our belief is that the healthy, productive, enduring life on Earth will result from the correct management of Earth's resources. In government, public, and private projects around the globe, we are leveraging new technologies to provide new solutions. Sounds very corporate of you. And Reliable, responsible, revolutionary. The Rochi Group and our subsidiaries uh, are not only world leaders, we are led by the world. Our promise to you is that our products and services will rise to the challenges of a changing landscape as we race into the future together. How sweet. Put that in the inventory. Might need that. And that's 0509, I think is what that said. Good luck out there, sport. Dead. Yeah, Antarctica's great. 
zero five zero nine. Zero five zero nine. Memorize. I'm gonna forget it. I go next. And computer. Uh, zero five zero nine. Nailed it. Screen is too wide. Jane Newhart. Security update. All personnel, please be aware of the new security update that's taking place tomorrow. You might be stuck in your room for a while. Write down the code somewhere so we'll remember it. Management. 0509. And good morning there, sport. Wilcox was kind enough to let you sleep in a little today. But that also means that Dr. Van Buren is tagging along on the EVA to the Chiron Chirano landing site. So I'll put a pin on the logging of the issue with the command until he's back. I know Lucas has been tinkering with some of the bio gauge code. So check with him first. Plus you have a chance to catch up with the doctor and make some small talk. Hey Declan, can't find anything listed to troubleshooting the solar arrays. Uh, coding, I've run diagnosis diagnostics each time and nothing out of the ordinary. It's starting to become a daily thing. Time to file the issue with command. I think even if they uh, they can shoot me a workaround, it's better than constantly triggering auxiliary power, Shane. How do you... Oh, you go up and down with the D-pad. Your Manticore NDA has been revised. You can't tell anybody anything. Dr. Newhart, there have been an update... There has been an update to your comprehensive NDA. Please log in at your earliest convenience. <laughs> this is only a courtesy. All changes have already gone into effect. Best regards. Always at your inconvenience. The rule of two is an exciting concept. That must be those two circles they keep having everywhere. When we discovered one example of a phenomenon in the cosmos, it is an anomaly. Given the van uh, vastness of the universe, if two examples are found, it implies there are many more millions, billions, trillions. As of now, we are only certain of life on Earth as an anomaly. But all we have to do is find a second. Any life will do. Even primitive alien microbes. Even fossils or microbial life billions of years dead. That one finding will open up a universe teeming with life. All we have to do is to get two. Interesting. And unlock okay. the door. Confirming my ID bypassed security for my room. Doors unlocked now. Alright, 0509. I'm not gonna use that anywhere else. Lift. Always make your bed. Especially in space. Let's do it. Well, the rest of the team's out dusting the landing pad, and Dr. Volkova is apparently deep into her biocultivation duties. So guess that means you have the base all to yourself. And where are you? Once more, I venture into the great unknown. On duty at the satellite dish. And currently communicating, which is technically my job. Kind of. Cool. Mm-hmm. Declan's on that. Doesn't look like I'm on any of this. No Shane. Next EV expedition. They don't let me do nothing around here. Locked. Literally like no running button. What's this? Power cord chewed. Anna is one of your specimens loose. What's this? Is this what I'm on? Interact. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh my god, the space people. That's exactly how it's gonna go down. But I'll be stuck on the ship. Because nobody lets me do anything in here. If there's no run button, man, this is gonna be ridiculous. Okay, I'm moving quicker now, I don't know how. Go this way. 
security protocols. Lots of reading again. Greetings, crewmate. As a member of the Invictus team, an employee of Manticore Orochi, there are security protocols that you must not fail to obey. Any Orochi facility, including this Mars base, is sectioned by security clearance. Not every employee may go into every section. Your ID card contains a number denoting your level of security clearance. Your ID card is necessary to access all doors, sectors, and computers of a given level of security clearance. I'm level 1. Do not attempt to access areas or equipment beyond your security clearance. Do not attempt to co coerce teammates to give you access to their security clearance. Do not give teammates of lower security clearance access to out-of-bound areas and equipment. Do immediately report any irregularities or breaks in security protocols to Invictus Security at AroshiGroup.com. Given the nature of the work at Manicor and Orochi, these protocols are in place to protect you from catastrophic mishaps and consequences. If you are unsure of your clearance or of these protocols, contact your superior. Thank you for your vigilance. I ain't playing around. We don't want the guy with the low security clearance to go in there and blow up the place. Uh, somebody should clean up around here. What the hell? Hey, what's up with the lights? Uh, yeah, getting some odd spikes in power as the batteries kick in. Hey, you, you just hang tight while I do your job for you, okay? No, I'll have a coffee. No, really, take take a load off. Nobody's let me do none. Is this the gym? Uh, Lucas, clean equipment after use. Everyone. Lucas is that one gym guy everybody doesn't like. Goes in here and doesn't clean up after he sweats all over it. Can't lift nothing. Too weak. I got them computer arms. What? Oh, it's those. I what those are called. Pretty cool, though. More reading, yes. It has a Rochi letterhead, so it is official. Replacement photo ID picture for your approval, Commander Wilcox. Management. You clean up pretty nice. Delapore approved. Cool. I mean, knocks over the chessboard. So it looks like we're on Mars. We already got a, a base built, so that's cool. But well, we're going to have Cthulhu on Mars now. Is that what we're dealing with? There's Cheerios. Multi grain Cheerios. Uh, Lou on dark roast coffee. Who put up this or low sticky on note about the witch? You like my drawing? I made it last night. Hmm. Do I like poking fun at a shared paranoid delusion while everyone is tired and isolated from human contact on Mars? Okay, killer. Remind me not to talk to you before you've had your coffee. Yeah, he seems like he's uh, really cool on party in parties. Let's get that coffee. And press button. Yummy. Crew of champions. Better use the dark roast too. None left. Oh, there's the light. The nightmare showed us that we're definitely gonna need that. What's this sticky note say? On pain of death, do your dishes. Well, what should I eat today? Uh can you check your bio gauge and see if your daily objectives have been updated? Copy that. And now I can open my journal? Crap! What's up? I, uh... I seem to have misplaced my bio gauge. Josie saw it in the lab on her way out. Told me to tell you. Better get it before you do anything else. Speaking of which... That should do it! I fixed the lounge door to the lab. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Bacon, or e bacon and eggs or savory oatmeal. I don't like bacon. 
And savory oatmeal, I don't like either. People are going to hate on me for that bacon thing. I'll go with the bacon, bacon and eggs, and eggs I guess. it is. All in just one little bar. I'm going to eat both. Eh. Take all of it. No, that's not working, so I gotta go back. Go back. Back into the depths. Light works. Not like it has a battery life, which is cool. Why does it slow me down through there? Well, that door's messed up. So weird. Deja vu. There was a stuck door in the dream I had. It's not important. It's, it's just weird. Uh, you're forgetting the last three times something malfunctioned in this over-engineered campsite. Alright, well, let's go open it up. Push it, Shane. Is that bio cage? In here somewhere, huh? There's the dang lights around here. Nothing's working. Ooh, green screen. Can't read it? There it goes. Uh, fade in. Antarctic outpost. Uh, Antarctic, Antarctic outpost engineering area near a window overlooking an icy hillside and clear sky. The team is standing. Greetings from the South Pole. This is Commander Josie Wilcox of the Antarctica Post Z17. We're here testing solutions for plant growth in the harshest conditions on Earth. An icy beach area overlooking several ice uh, lows where penguins splash amongst the waves. Delapore is kneeling near the water, taking in the beautiful scenery. As you can see, it's penguin mating season, so we're getting all kinds of visitors to the outpost. A penguin enters the ice flow from the right. This little guy is a chin strap penguin. While the chin strap penguin is still thriving, its natural habitat is threatened each year. An Orochi facility covered in fresh layers of snow operates in the background, spending, uh, sending up clouds of steam. Newhart stands, gesturing behind him at the amazing engineering. Burr. But as you can see, Orochi's pant uh, patented Antarctic superconductive coils burrow deep into the poles, causing steady ice flows even during the hot summer months. Okay, so they got an entire uh, thing set up to fly to everybody. We're not on Mars, we're just in Antarctica. Okay. All a lie. What is this? Weird. It's a frog. That one got messed up. Maybe they're trying to see if frogs can live out here. Where is the data thing? Is that really where it was? And push the button. No good. I think there's a reset button somewhere. Did the reset Just my luck. I need to find something that can fit in there. Declan, I found the bio gauge, but it won't turn on. I need to reset it. Uh, find something small and thin. A pen should work. Nailed it. There. Got it working. Great. You should be able to reboot the security system now. Just scan the servers with the bio gauge. Okay. Oh, that shows me my uh, health in a minute. 
connect. System is malfunctioning. Yes, reboot. Yeah, we got light. Uh oh. The quake probably knocked the panels out of alignment. This has been an ongoing issue. I'll have to adjust the solar panels manually. There's more stuff in here. Invictus. What is Invictus? Orochi Group is proud to announce unprecedented uh, feat of science and human potential. Welcome to Invictus, Earth's first long-term space station on Mars. The Invictus program will be ready to launch in the very near future, and we know you have questions. We admire and are thankful to the pioneering work by organizations like NASA, but there are limitations to any government institute. Orochi, as a global corporate entity, has resources and expertise that knows no boundaries. We are uniquely situated to take space exploration to its next level. We are eager to show you. Why explore the stars? Exploring the space not only furthers humankind's knowledge, it also inspires new technology that makes life for the rest of us on Earth but, uh, that much better. What is the Orochi Group? Orochi is the world's largest multinational corporation composed of dynamic subsidiaries. Together we form eight heads facing forward to an innovative horizon. We see limitations as a challenge and an impossible as a dare. We will push boundaries. We will pursue excellence. We will change the world. Orochi Group, we will. And Anasai Technologies, leaders in computer hardware and software. Manicor, paragons of aerospace defense and industry or industrial design. We bring you the horizon. And technology that cares. Got a whole brochure. Only reading. Oh, this is a non disclosure agreement. Jeez. Okay. Not reading all that. And what's this? Mineral mineralogical analysis of Martian soil and rocks. Data provides information regarding the nature of atmospheric surface chemicals and physical weathering. Processes involving phase bearing phases. We shall find this relevant study. Huh. Okay, let's get moving. Too much reading. We gotta go man that other thing. Where's that? We got objectives. Pilot the Myra. M Y R cat. Myra cat. Where's that at? Meyer cat where you beat oh that's cool must be it oh this is an airlock am I supposed to go through here let's not hit that yet put on a helmet interact Am I supposed to be going outside? Oh, we're about to find out. That's a cool HUD. Alright, push. And we're going out. Where's the Meyer cart? This hit? How do you get in this thing? That's the Meyer cat. Back door. Awesome. Refill the air. Close. Refill. Get 
Get inside this thing. Hope it gets good gas mileage. Stuff in there. Pilot this thing. Oh yeah. Got hydraulics. Got the engine. Uh Declan, I am buckled in and headed to the solar panel array. I don't even get to drive. Oh, you've got nothing to do but listen to me. Just when my migraine was starting to clear up. I'm actually glad to have the Sierra landing today. Some fresh faces, and supplies, distractions. Everyone's so on edge lately. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it. These dreams are starting to get to me. Yeah, you're not the only one having strange dreams there, Ace. You too? Oh yeah. I mean, put yourself in my shoes. You log out after your shift, eat some rehydrated meatloaf, and bump down for the night. By the second you fall asleep, it feels like you're back at your desk and you hear the static again. Calibrate, more static, calibrate, then something sounds different, it's a pattern, you start decoding it, it's gibberish, but the static keeps talking. It wants you to hear the symbols. The symbols, huh? Yeah, don't, don't worry about me, big guy. Just dreams. Yeah, and uh, then I wake up and there's scribbled notes around me. It feels like I haven't slept in a while. All right, I showed you mine, now lay it on me. Dreams, nightmares, fantasies, your deepest, darkest fears. Let's hear it. Sorry, I just pulled up to the office. I'll have to get back to you on all that. Eh, suit yourself. The anticipation is killing me. Hmm. Too late. Can't tell you about it. Man, I didn't get to drive this thing. Thanks a lot, Shane. Taking over the coolest part of the job. All right, let's go see what's out here. Okay, elevator's not working. Someone must have borrowed a power cell. Declan, I'm heading up to the perilous rocky pathway. Power cell for the elevator is missing. Have fun. Oh, hey, just got an update from Commander Wilcox. Landing site preparations are underway. Also, she told me to clean up my shit at the comms tower. <laughs> she didn't want to scare off the new recruits. I like Josie. Oh, it looks like if I run... Oh, that's cool. If I run, my uh, beats per minute go up. No power cell. And then my oxygen level is getting used faster. Pretty cool. The attention to detail. I guess we'll go this way. The solar panels are definitely desynchronized. I'll have to connect with my bio gauge to rotate them. If I'm quick, there may still be enough hours of daylight to recharge the overnight batteries. Well, where do I go to recharge them? Or to synchronize them? I think I know two things. Fill it up. The good old oxygen. And locate the power conduit. Seems like they use these grates on the ground to show places to go. Whoa, Declan, a whole section of the scaffolding here has collapsed. Oh, it was the witch! <laughs> or we had a minor quake recently. You know, take your pick, though. That leads right back up. Probably not where I should be going yet. Let's see. What's in here? Storage. Looks like this might be an elevator. It works. Hmm. 
maybe this building down here is what controls all of them. And how do we get out? There it is. I'm kind of glad to get out of the base. Walk around. Yeah, it's nice to step outside. Breathe in that non-existent Martian air. Well, there's that. But I can move out here. I don't know. Spread my wings a bit. Like a beautiful dead Martian swan. Like a dead Martian eagle. Thank you. Ah, so there's a power cell here. Might be able to use that for the other one. And to connect. Uh, right bumper. Geological survey vehicle. No power. Ooh. Power cell engage. It's on now. Connect. Our engine. Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, what the heck? Toggle zoom bio gauge screen. Weird. Sounds like it's on, but it ain't. Okay. Remove that. I might need a power cell for in there. I'll take it with me. Right. Helmet down. Uh oh, I should probably not have done that yet. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that yet. Hit the button. I'm a dunce. Don't die. Don't die. That was smart. Okay, my my eyeballs almost blew out of my head, but we're good. Lesson learned. Uh, oh my god. Who's that? Who's what? I don't know. Thought I saw someone. Don't see anyone now. Let's just get this done. Woohoo. Lucky I brought along a power cell. Indeed. Out ahead. All right, have a look-see. Look around this place. That's Why locked. Why is this locked? Unlock the locked door. There's a computer over here. 0509, if I remember. Or there's something here. After 133 souls, primary mission is finally a success. Located possible water ice deposit 36.8 kilometers east of here. Arano crew will be notified as soon as there's within range. Investigations are underway. Okay. Hey, Declan, why don't you give me your password? I'm just gonna check out your browsing history. Hard pass. <laughs> okay. Solar panels are becoming a consistent issue. Power conduit logs the dip in power when the automatic sensor stop working and shuts down triggering secondary batteries manual calibration seems to work fine and the panels turn and track the sun only remaining option is a coding issue and nothing i can find in the manual helps with troubleshooting honestly like extra evas are great for clearing my mind feel so cramped doing maintenance at the station looking out the window isn't the same as standing there on the sand even if i'm just scanning and turning knobs it's scanning and turning knobs on Mars. It's real, and with everyone bitching about sleep issues, myself included, it's nice to feel like I'm getting away. Almost don't want to log the issue, but yeah, power might be important. I think so. Water sites. Cool. Recent activity logs. Calibration of the solar array a bunch of times. Uh, toilet clog. Yeah, that's a bad one. And power cell placed in storage. Misfire, risk of sparks. Interesting. Notes. Note to Did shame. Did Lucas think I wouldn't notice something missing from my outpost? 
Lucas Van Buren, employee of the month. This is Lucas. Seeing as the living quarters of this facility have become your makeshift storage area, I have placed a few of my own non-essential items in the space as well. I have therefore enacted a more secure protocol for the locking mechanism for the quarters in question. As you have access to this location on a habit habitual basis, I have allowed you unlock privileges without password protection. I request that you please do not disturb my items as it, even though they are non-essential, they are in effect my possessions and aid me in my endeavors. Thank you. Now this guy seems like a douche. Come on the door. Seems like a douche and a half. Open the door. What's in here? What's a power cell? Uh huh. Restore power to the base. Adjust solar panels. And locate the power conduit. I haven't done that yet. So I did get a power cell. I got a nice shower in here. Oh, there's a clogged toilet. Is that why I'm in here? I should grab that cell powering the facility before I go. Okay. Oh, it's dark. I got nervous. Alright. Okay. Okay, we gotta do this procedure in the right order now. Helmet first. Oxygen up. There we go. And now push the button. And that is how you don't kill yourself. Shane, what is the situation at the solar site? The panels are out of alignment again. Until the Cyrano gets here, I don't have the parts to test. Can't confirm the issue 100%. All right, just so you know, anything breaks around here and I've got four Orochi execs on my ass. If you want to explain to them why a multi-million dollar piece of equipment is being manually adjusted every day, be my guest. But we have a mission and I'd rather focus on that, not fucking filling out paperwork. Copy? Copy. Copy. Not your fault, but after the Cyrano lands, no excuses. Get it done. Over and out. Okay. Where is the conduit for this thing? Those look like, uh, those might be things up here. Control system. There we go. Boom. Okay, so it's good that I went to that place first. And it connects. This control console interface directly with a the Saijin series solar panels, the latest in Bicoil's line of next generation clean energy. Cool. And. Ooh, that's cool. I want to rotate them to 100%. That's not 100%. There we go. Go to the right. I want to get a hundred percent. So close, nailed it. One down. That's how you line it up. Okay, I probably need to get the power cell. I don't know where the power conduit is. Okay. Oh, it's already got one. Connect. Alright. Line them up. Gotta lower it to the left. Going down. 87. Now we gotta go lower. Almost 100. Nailed it. 
Optima. Did those stay over here or did they get messed up because I pulled the power supply out? I hope it stayed. If not, I might have to leave that. Hi Shane. Uh, I made a bio gauge program so that you can see when Phobos is passing. Yeah, that's overhead. good still. It, it circles Mars three times a day. You know, and um, it, it, it is required that everyone downloads this program. Um, I've already added it to your OS to ensure that you, you don't forget. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. I think it'll really help with morale. I was right. He is a douche. Lucas is officially the douche. The douche of this game. No one's gonna like him. Got one of those faces, you know? Uh. That ain't good. Solar panel utilizes. Okay. Connect. Oh, that works. Got the remote connection. Rotate. And down. There we go. Nope. There it goes. Okay. Is that all of them? Locate the power conduit, adjust the panels. That's two out of three complete. I think I do have to leave that in there. Because I don't think it counts if it's not sitting in. We need the power or the battery stuck in there. Keep removing it. I want to take it with me. There you go. Keep the battery. Declan, the solar panels are now calibrated. Heading up the hill to the conduit. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, there it is. copy that. Get some more oxygen and we'll move up to the hill. Wish I got told that beforehand. And I know where it was. I like to run the waste of oxygen at a high rate. Makes me happy inside. Almost to the conduit. The power conduit is shut down. There should be a fuse switch on one of the sides. Here we go. Up the breaker. Looking good. Power should be back on. Nice. Achievement uh, unlocked. Shane, I've got good news and bad news. Good news, I think we just found water on Mars. Bad news, it is spraying all over the greenhouse. Restoring power must have triggered the pumps, and I'm showing significant pressure loss across the system. Can't be cut off remotely. Oh, sorry, cowboy. This is a job that requires your hands-on expertise. All right. Heading back now. You get one job done, and you're back on another. What did you just do? I have water spraying all over my greenhouse. I would not expect this from a new heart. Can't you just turn it off? I do not have time for this. You will fix this. Jeez. Who shit in her cereal? Life did, man. Life shit in her cereal. That's why it's a brand. Alright, let's get back to the vehicle I can't drive. Beep. the other problem and greenhouse problems are real here we go the Meyer cat hope there's no storm coming
Hey, still fighting that headache? Yeah, I still can't shake that dream. Part of it was a memory from when I was a kid. Weird. It was the last birthday party my mom was around for. She left not long after that. Do you know what happened to her? Not really. It was big news when she disappeared. She was a big shot theoretical mathematician. Oh yeah. Everyone knows Dr. Newhart. I mean, I had to read engineering dimensions in grad school. All I know is the day after my birthday, I head downstairs for breakfast, and I couldn't find her. The basement door was wide open. It was the only place she could be, I thought. So I went down. There was a, a like a, a... Well, she wasn't there. Or anywhere. And we searched for years. Crazy. My oxygen levels are way low. Hit the button. Gotta find that losing greenhouse. Wow. <laughs> Feels like I'm back in therapy. Well, no better place to tackle your problems than from 130 million miles away, right? That's right. Okay. Turn the thing on with the helmet on. Switching atmospheres. Now take it off. There we go. Okay. Where's the greenhouse sector? This looks like storage. Does not look like greenhouse. Go this way. Where are you at, greenhouse? I think I did a full circle. I found no greenhouse. What is this thing? Probably down this way. Dang. This looks cool. Declan, the greenhouse is definitely in a sorry state. This has got to be fixed before the Cyrano lands. Well, the major issue is the water reclaimer. Now I'm reading it is offline. Work your magic. Reach the water reclaimer. And this door got messed up. Oh, cool. That's gonna help. Well, that don't look good. Cool, now I can see where to go. The ladder, I guess. Let's do it. Water reclaimer, here I come. This is an awesome greenhouse. Just jump in. Um. Okay. Got a tool. Looks oh, like a nub. This. Must turn the pipes. Okay. All right. Should be able to pass through now. 
Cool. The water capsules. Seems pretty cool so far. I'm liking the whole space element to it. They put a lot of detail in the whole like uh, habitat and space. That's it looks level like two. it needs a higher security level. Uh, Ina? What is it? The door to underground access is locked. I have instructed Dr. Van Buren to lock all doorways to critical projects. This is the culmination of my entire life's work. We do not want contamination. I can't fix it if I can't get to the pumps. That is an inconvenience? You are the inconvenience. Figure it out. That is your job, yes? I should have said the plumber. Jeez. What a mess. I gotta keep an eye on that steam so I don't get burned. Shit! Dr. Volkova? What was that? What the hell is going on here? Uh, a doctor lady, I think, is up to something. Just like the last game. Crazy doctor. Hello? Anyone here? Yeah, I need to find that thing to turn off the steam. Can I climb this? No. Man. What is this lady been working on? Is that? Heard him oh. oh, that's the steam. Killing me, Doc. How do I get past that? Gotta get through there. Is there a place that I can use that handle? Over here, maybe? No. This is not far enough away. Oh, okay. That works. Keep moving. Uh, what? what is that? The heck? Team all over this area. This lady's been working on some stuff. I don't think she should be working on it. Uh-oh. Keep hearing the water. Gotta go that way. This Ina, can't be the good. entire mangrove root structure is contaminated. There is a viscous black substance like oil. It seems like it's spreading. It is not contaminated. It is changing, evolving. It's beautiful. This doesn't look right. Oh, constant interruptions. I do not have time to explain myself to you. This lady is messing with some stuff she should not be messing with for sure. Hello? Finally. The water reclaimer.
That's the security two thing. All that just to walk around that door. Advanced multi outlet water recovery system designed by Manicor. Next. Flamer water. Jesus, this can't be Lucas again. Who just takes this stuff apart? Now I have to find where he put three water reclaimer pieces? Okay. Ooh, level two. Of course he leaves his ID. At least he has a higher clearance level. Well, Lucas, I'm gonna need to borrow this for a bit. Should be able to open these doors now. That's against uh, company policy, man. open this level two door actually I think this is a different place Lucas the pieces for the water reclaimer are missing where are they uh, the, the, the reclaimer pieces are in their proper receptacles more specifically follow the colored pipes yeah, sorry hang on, I'm needed elsewhere Okay, so we got a yellow one, a red one, and a blue one. Blue one, we'll go after that one first. I go through that. That goes up top. We gotta get up the stairs. What's up there? No oh, level two. We can get in here. Open the door. Open it. I need some creepy plants. And this is why you gotta check up on people. They be doing their research and not telling nobody about it. And all of a sudden, a problem happens. And then you end up finding something that you probably shouldn't have. The Venus flytrap. Big one. Alright. Where are the recovery units? I found one of the components. Oh, great. Now just find the other two so we can clean up this mess. Why can't I grab it? Activate. Add to inventory. I guess I'll figure that out later. What's in here? And it connects. Designed by Plethron. The Kubico is part of a line of cutting edge hydroponic technology. Connecting. Oh, that's cool. And we got an opening. Okay. Jeez, they really let these plants take over. Oh my god, what the heck was that? Okay. Connect. Rotate. There we go. Time to get out. Man, this is not a place I want to be. Oh, there's the other one, the yellow. Add to inventory. So we got the blue and the yellow, now we need the red pipe. Jeez! What the heck? Is someone there? There's so much fog in here. We got a rainforest. What's going on with my hand? I got a crazy scar on it. Scan. 
rotate. There we go. Where's the red one go? Red pipe. Okay, let's go back down there and see where it goes. We gotta find it. It's waiting for something crazy to happen. It goes in that building. Building number three. It's blocked off downstairs. We should probably go up. Jesus! What the heck is happening? That is... yeah. Somebody went to the bathroom and dropped something they shouldn't have. You got a stomach virus. Dude, what is that? Oh, hell no. Where is the contaminated... Where is the thing? The water. Get down there. Oh my god. Something is loose. Uh, something? What? Something? I don't know yet. Okay, I'll contact Wilcox at the landing site. She'll get Lucas to talk. He should know what Volkov has been doing in there. Just hang tight and get that reclaimer online. Okay. Well, I got all of them. Run. I don't like where this is heading. I do not like it one bit. Okay, so there's numbers on those reclaimment things. Gotta figure out what I need to put on each one of them. Okay. Reclaimer diagnostics. Uh, uh, let's see. Water reclaimer offline. A part of a recent string of experiments, I've moved the water reclaimer cells to other districts within the greenhouse. Okay. Uh, let's see. I wanted to tell you that last time uh, that our time here on the station has meant a lot to me. I just worry about your state of mind lately. I've always admired you. No return later. Ask uh, Ask Ina about Project Arbormore. Ask Ina about the new seeds. Strange black roots. Should I ask in person? I'm sorry to bother you with this. Ugh. Made a draft. Okay, water reclaimer pump offline system di uh, disconnect on critical air. I don't like any of this is just telling me what, how to do it yet. Simply returning the cells, reverting them to the proper setting will replenish all water supplies. If I were not splitting my duties amongst the potential sites of interest, medical practice, and Ina's agriculture ambitions, I would surely be more thorough in practical cleanup matters. Okay. I didn't tell me anything. Maybe I can just do it by connecting. Connect. So, 80, 80, 80. Let's see what happens. Insert. This is a yellow one. And it says 90 on it. Now what does that do? That's 35. Enter. And... Now what does it say? 120. Is it being divided? Is that like 120 divided by 1? Uh, 50? 
put that one in. See what happens. Reclaim. Sprinklers need to shut down prior to water reclaimer activation. How do we shut down the sprinklers? Okay. I definitely need to re put the settings in on these. That was 35. 90. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, each unit purifies a specific amount of water before initiating a strong procedure. Uh, main, uh, mains, let's see, maintains consistent pressurized flow of over 60 PSI throughout the trail of laser alpha. Hmm. I'm not sure what it's trying to tell me. So 50 goes down to that one. And then that's 90 divided by 3. I'm just guessing here. Let's see. That would be 30. So 90 in the middle would be right. 50 on the left would be right because that would equal 80. The bottom or the middle one takes on the 90, but that would be divided by 3. So that's 30. And then plus 50. That's right. And then 100 divided by 2, that's not right. That's, well, no, that's 15, 30. No, that should be right. Something I'm not seeing here. Does the sprinklers need to be shut down? Go back out here and see if I can find a sprinkler system. What's this? found the environmental control console. Great. That's the last thing you need to clean up the greenhouse. But first, you need to restore the water reclaimer and shut off the sprinkler valves. Yeah. Where are the sprinkler valves? I'm gonna go in this building over here. What's in here? Holy shit, Ina! Dr. Volkova, where are you? Something is seriously wrong. The infection is everywhere. Not infection. It's evolution. Adaptation. Perfection. My children, they grow so quickly. Wrapped in creeping rootstocks. Where sap and blood coagulate. Do not fight it. Allow it to blossom. First in human history. The merging of two life forms. There's something wrong with this lady for sure. I gotta power this area up, it looks like. This I can go under here. Where is the sprinkler system? I already insert, inserted the components in the water reclaimer. Now what am I supposed to do in here? What's the point of turning that off? Oh, there's something here. It's blocked, though. No way to lift it. Where's the sprinkler system? I can't find it anywhere.
Anybody up there? Nothing? What's this? A danger sensor. Okay, I'm gonna go back this way and go up the stairs. Shows me where the water reclamation area is, but it doesn't show me anywhere where a sprinkler system would be. Hydroponics. There's water treatment on the building, so is there a building that says sprinkler on it? Maybe it's up there. I never went up there. There's even a ladder. Pump station. Ooh, it goes all the way up. Keep going. Ooh. Kind of reminded me of Jurassic Park. That must be it. I think I found it. Yep, I found it. Holy crap. One of two sprinklers. That must be on the other side. I feel like I'm in the uh, aviary in Jurassic Park 3. There's gonna be a big pterodactyl that jumps out on me. Turn it off. I like the sound of that. Oh Jesus. my god. Why am I seeing like glimpses of like space people? Okay, let's go over here. I like how he just keeps saying Jesus, but he's not like saying anything else to anybody else. I'm having nightmares, but I'm also having hallucinations. Let's not tell anybody. I don't want to be crazy now. I gotta go down. Okay, that's not the right way. There it is. Open sesame. I don't think I went down far enough yet. There we go. Let's get back over there into the reclamation area. And I'm pretty sure the numbers are already right. And boom, boom. Yeah. All right, up and running again. Just need to switch on the environment control console. Should be right outside the door. Outside the door. This one? Oh, okay. It's that big thing that was out there. Uh oh. Something crazy is gonna happen here. I'm gonna hit this and this whole thing's gonna clear up and it's gonna be Cthulhu. Big old Cthulhu. What the hell? Oh, dude. Declan, are you there? Declan! You just woke it up, man. What the hell? Uh, what is that? Um, run. Shit. Run. 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 There we go. Yeah, I'll go that way. That's cool. Yeah, let's go down the road. Oh, shit. It's not the way. Up the steps. Don't even look back. Oh, my God. 
Run, motion, run. Use. Hurry up. Okay, open the door. Door oh, don't open. Oh, I'm so dead. What? Go, 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 go. It opens now. Oh, man. Come down. All I ask. I got there. What in the hell? That lady's messing with some bad juju. What? Oh, Jesus! All ass. All ass. I didn't see nothing. Ten, I didn't see anything. Oh my god. You're going the right way? Not like I'm going the right way. What's going on here? I think I hit a dead end. Nope, it's right here. Hello? What the hell's going on? Do I go up or down? Run. Holy crap. Dude. Quarant There's a quarantine horrible that whole place. creature in the greenhouse. It tried to kill me. Do not return to base. Does anyone read me? Ina, Lucas, Commander Wilcox. I've got to warn them. Did I go outside? It said don't come back to base, so. Okay, well, let's go outside. Or is there like a comms thing that I can use? Oxygen? If I can get to Declan at the satellite station, we can try to reestablish communications. And run, man. Get back in the little vehicle. Or that thing destroys the greenhouse. And oxygen. I like how it's shown him like frantically trying to put the oxygen in. That's pretty cool. Let's roll out. Holy crap. The monster was scary. This kind of reminded me a little bit of the alien game as well. Like a uh, mix between Call of Cthulhu and Alien. Here we are. Why does everything look all broken around here all the time? All right, everyone, that's uh, part one of the Moons of Madness. So far, this game is pretty crazy. It looks like it's going to be a lot more scary than Call of Cthulhu. So, well, if you guys like the content, please support the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.